Hey, everybody, Ann here, sitting on my porch, finishing up my coffee with all you. You hear that in the background? That's my chainsaw that Miss Donna B gave to me. My neighbor is using it because he needs to clear some land to increase his sheep pen. Oh, and the sheep are doing just fine, you guys. And the family thanked me again for all the help that you guys gave to them. Um, because the the girl one, she delivered, uh, she contracted something called um, fly strike, I guess. Flies light on it and, you know, lay their eggs and the maggots and all that. Um, so they had to buy more medicine. And so they were able to do that because of all of you. Thank you so much. Anyhow, he's over there cutting up wood and he's already told me that I can take the lumber and I can split it up. So he's cut a ton over there and he's cutting down some big trees. Oh my gosh. That little chainsaw is a powerhouse. It's great. And he loves it. Anyhow, um, so I, I may try and get some wood over here today and split up. I want to work on the chicken yard and um, I don't know. There's just so much to do. I can't decide what to do first. I am standing inside my finished chicken yard. Yep, there's a tarp up there. Um, it's green on the underside and it's brown on the top side. It's a pretty cheap tarp, so I know it's not going to last long. I don't really like it, but it's there for right now so let me just kind of turn this around and show you what everything looks like all right i'm standing kind of like inside the entryway and every single bit is covered with chicken wire tarp this netting anywhere that they can possibly get out i even covered the tops of these um, I use like scraps, so it's not consistently the same materials all the way through. Remember this, Donna? Yeah, you brought that down once. Um, yes, and it's all covered. And so I had to put netting over there. I actually, eventually, uh, this is going to re be replaced with that netting. I do like the tarp because it provides a little bit of a shade, but, um, I've got trees, so so I've got netting here, and this is all enclosed with different kinds of chicken wire. And did you notice those pallets? Seth and Selena and Mr. Lucas gave them to me. They've got one more over there that I may be able to use. So, I mean, there's like a whole bunch back there. Um, you can't see them, but so I'll be able to put them to good use. And then over here, this uh, kind of like starts going down. It's higher, but I can still stand up. Um, everything is covered. <laughs> Another remnant of chicken wire. And, yep, a little piece of tarp that I actually ended up cutting. Um, let me get out of here and show you. There's my door that's working out just fine. And I pulled a little bit of netting over here uh, when I go in and out. I just move it up a little bit. Um, I just wanted everything to be covered. So yeah, I kind of cut that. Yeah, this is a very cheap tarp, but uh, they went on sale on Amazon. I had them on my wish list. Um, I'm, I may take them off because like I said, I'm going to get this. I, I, I just need some solid pieces of this and I can cover the whole top. You're not even going to be able to see the tarp because honestly, from this angle, I don't like the looks of it at all, but I had to have it higher that way. So if it rains, the rain's gonna come down this way. And I was even thinking of setting up a little water catchment thing, um, but that would be unsightly. And honestly, I'm capturing enough water with what I've got already. So yeah, I don't like the way it looks from this angle, but it is what it is for now. I'll eventually get the netting and uh, it'll be like invisible. You won't even be able to see it. Um, and I can still put a tarp over part of it, but uh, it's all enclosed. Ow, holly tree, yikes. And it works okay. Yeah, it's not a symmetrically shaped run, so things aren't symmetrical, whatever.
but I think once I get it painted, and I'm not sure what color I'm going to paint it. I could paint it uh, that color. I could paint it the color of the tiny house. I'm just not sure. All I know is I want to get rid of the blue tarps. They're awful. I hate blue tarps um, unless they're like behind the tiny house covering up wood. Okay, I wanted to show you one more thing. See those perches, those little roost things? One thing I learned from having chickens in here before is they kept knocking these out. So what I did on the ends is, and I can't get closer just because I'm not crawling in there again. Um, on a diagonal, I just put a couple screws in there and they hold solid now. So I won't have to keep going inside here and putting up the roosts. So that should work out great. I'm probably going to put food in there. I'm not sure if food and water, but I think what I am going to do is put their water on top of this little pallet that Seth and Selena gave me uh, just to kind of keep it cleaner. And then I put a little, <laughs> a little roost out here. I may put something else out here, but right now that's fine. Um, those are one of the boards that Donna B gave me. So now all it needs is some chickens. Yeah, I think this is going to be plenty of room for the number of chickens that's going to be in here. And I have decided that I am going to put BBL in here because I think she is a Leghorn Easter Egger mix. Um, so it's going to be Mama, uh, Debbie, BBL, and the three new Leghorns. So, I mean, that's what? Three, four, five, six. Six chickens. Three per roost up there. I think it'll be just fine. So yeah, uh, I'm definitely going to, I'm just going to leave this tarp up until it starts failing. And um, hopefully by then I will have more of this netting and I'll just put that all over the top and you won't even be able to see it. It won't be unsightly, um, but it kind of looks cool on the inside, right? whatever <laughs> and here's what it looks like from inside this door um, that's some hardware cloth that Miss Donna gave me and I put some more of this up here yeah, there's a little hole in right here but I don't think that'll be a problem um, and then chicken wire and whatever it is that I had I just put up and I have used basically all of my resources now but I did it <laughs> I did it hooray and this door works great, just like it is. I just keep it bungeed shut. And the little bungees over there, I haven't leveled out the dirt yet, but I will. So it can close automatically. It just works great. I got to show you something. Remember when you heard the chainsaw going? It was neighbor dude over there. Well, check this out. This is only one load. One load. He's got three or four more over there. I told him to text me when he started loading it up and he just said, oh, well, I've got it loaded. So you want me to bring it over? I'm like, yes, look at all of this, all different sizes. All I've got to do is just cut it up into the sizes that I need um, and then split it up. Some of this, a lot of this, I'm not going to have to split at all, which is absolutely perfect. So there's all different sizes. Look at how big. That one is, oh my gosh, he cut down some big trees. So we got some oak, we got some poplar, um, we may have some pine. Um, mm -mm -mm, I don't know, there's just a, a beautiful, beautiful assortment. So, and there's a lot more, so I'm hoping he'll text me um, the next time he uh, gets to loading things up, but he's been busy working all day on his property Boy, I tell you, he is a hard-working son of a gun. I'm exhausted. Can you tell? Yeah, I'm looking pretty disheveled. So I'm just going to take it easy for the rest of the, well, evening. <laughs> and uh, watch my chickens. I think tonight I am gonna, going to pull, I can't even talk, I'm so tired. I'm going to pull Mama and Debbie and um, BBL off of their perches and put them in the new coop um, so they can start getting used to it so 
yeah, <laughs> that's going to be exciting. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.